In randomized clinical trials, it's not uncommon for outcomes data to be missing for some participants. When there's concern that the treatment benefit experience may be systematically different among participants who were lost to follow-up versus those who completed the trial, we can use a tipping point analysis to assess the robustness of the study results. For example, a trial may start with 100 participants with 50 in each treatment group, but at the end, five participants in each group didn't return. If each set of five participants experienced treatment effects similar to the other participants in their respective treatment groups, then knowing those missing outcomes is unlikely to change the conclusions of the study. But if the treatment effects they experienced were systematically different, then adding their data to those included in the original analysis could change the conclusions. A tipping point analysis considers hypothetical patterns of outcomes for participants with missing data to identify the tipping point at which the overall conclusions about the treatment effect would change. Here's a real-world example. A recent trial from Nigeria compared a triple pill protocol with standard care for hypertension and found that the triple pill was more effective at reducing mean systolic blood pressure at six months. But Final BP measurements were missing for almost 9% of study participants. The authors conducted a tipping point analysis by first replacing the missing BP measurements with values imputed from the observed data and then shifting these imputed values in both intervention and control groups. They found that the differences in BPs between participants with and without missing data would have to be implausibly large for the study's conclusions to be overturned. For instance, statistical significance was lost when the missing BP measurements in the triple pill group were shifted 26 millimeters of mercury higher while simultaneously BP measurements in the standard care group were decreased by 6 millimeters of mercury. This study is an example of how a tipping point analysis can make us confident in the findings. Conversely, confidence may decrease if a study's conclusions are sensitive to small differences in the treatment effect in participants with missing data compared to those with complete data. This is why regulatory agencies often require tipping point analysis to ensure the study's findings are not overly dependent on untestable assumptions about missing data. Go to this article for more.